Hi everyone, it's me, Wei Chiang here again. I'm back uh, after the long weekend holiday. I hope everybody had a good time. Uh, to all Muslim friends, Salamat Hari Raya. Uh, continue to enjoy this. Uh, continue to enjoy this month of uh, feasting and celebrations. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we are going to work on this question today. Um, it will be typically encountered by students when they are in P4. Um, there are many many ways to solve this, uh, but since there's so much uh, of uh, talk and hype about the algebraic method being used, uh, I shall show this question being done using algebra, but um, it's not presented in a way that it's really looking like algebra. Somewhat similar, but still a little bit different. So let's go. Uh, Mutu had thirty dollars spent the money on seven similar pens and eight similar pencils. He who had twenty dollars cents left. So if you look at the first sentence, uh, seven similar pens and eight similar pencils, he will have twenty cents left. Well, that would simply mean that uh, we can take thirty dollars minus away. Um, let me have got twenty cents left, so zero point two zero. That'll be twenty nine dollars and eighty cents. So that would mean that seven pens. Okay and uh, 8 pencils cost $29.80 so this is how I typically get primary school students to present instead of saying 7x plus 8y is this we use the typical um, we use the object here similarly if you used all this money on 8 such pens and 7 such pencils you'll be short of 20 cents well that would mean that uh, this uh, eight pens, thirty dollars plus twenty cents, because he's short twenty cents, so he needs to pay, uh, pay this uh, thirty dollars and twenty cents. So it will be simply mean that eight pens and seven pencils would cost uh, thirty dollars and uh, twenty cents. So in a way, this is algebra, but we don't present it as x and y. Okay, so to Next, I'll ask them, so how much did one pen cost? Usually, I'll ask the student, so what do you want to look for? You're looking for the pen. Okay, so if you are looking for the pen, and you have pencils here and pens here, uh, what are you going to do? Which one will you decide to get rid of? When we present it to them in such a way, it's actually asking them which one will you want to eliminate, but instead of using the big word, we decide to ask them which one will you want to get rid of. And uh, they will usually be able to tell you that you want to get rid of pencils. So to do that, we multiply 7 here, we multiply 8 here, we make that both 56, and when we do that, we do that across for all the numbers here, to be fair to everybody. Okay, so what you will get is uh, 49 pens plus 56 pencils will be $208.60. Similarly, you will get 64 pens plus 56 pencils will be $241.60. So, over here, we will ask the students, okay, so you want to get rid of the pencils, what do you do? You just have to subtract them. So, similarly here, if I'm going to subtract this and this, I'm going to do the same here. Okay, subtract here, and I will also subtract here. So when we subtract, we will get 15 pence is uh, $33 and no more pencils because 56 minus 56 you get no more pencils. So one pen would therefore be $2.20 and there you have it. Algebra done at primary school um, using the algebraic method but without the presentation and the complexity of uh, presentation of algebraic questions. So before I end, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who signed up for the sharing session this coming Friday on the 24th of July. Um, the, the food has been catered, uh, the, the, the guest list has been confirmed, so it should, should anyone uh, decide to pull out the last minute, please give me a call so that I can get the next person in line to come up. If you have received a confirmation SMS, it means that your, your, your place is confirmed. And we'll be looking forward to meeting you on the 24th. So the venue is as specified in the SMS that I gave. If not, please refer to our website, juniorwonders.com.sg and you will be able to find our address under contact us. 
for ease of identification, um, just go to Haugang Mall. We are across from Haugang Mall. So in the meantime, have a good week ahead. It's Monday. There's a long week ahead. And I uh, hope everybody has a great week ahead. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye-bye.